Hey, it's Norm from Tesla.com, and for this week's show and tell, I want to share with you another quick and easy project that you can buy online and assemble for yourself at home. A couple months ago, uh, when we were in Adam's cave, Adam showed us his obsession with these Stronbeast walking machines. And those kits that he had came from this Japanese company called Gaken. That's G-A-K-K-E-N. It's actually a magazine released in Japan that's, I think, translated into Science for Adults. And they release these kits slash magazines that you can buy every couple months or so that have little kits that you can build. This issue issue actually came out several years ago, I think it came out in 2008, and it's a DIY analog synthesizer. Everything you need to build a synthesizer it comes in this box, and attached to the back of the box is this magazine. Uh, I can't read Japanese, but the magazine has, has wonderful pictures. It's, it's like a pictorial of uh, musicians talking about using synth for their music, and also using this SX150 Gakken synthesizer and hacking it and modding it and interesting things uh, on their own. So uh, if you don't know what a synth analog synthesizer is, it's a device invented in 1960s by um, a guy named Moog. So you might have recognized that brand. Uh, it's a famous synthesizer brand. Um, and it's a, a way to use uh, controlled voltage on circuit boards going through resistors and capacitors to generate uh, audio effects, analog audio effects. And this is the SX150 synthesizer. Assembly is super easy. It comes out of the box almost like 90% assembled. You don't have to do any soldering at all. The circuit board is all completed. All you have to do is kind of plug a couple of the wires in, screw it in, plug in four AA batteries, and plug in the speaker. It's a self-contained unit. Even the backing board for the synthesizer is a part of the packaging, and you just kind of just screw that in. All the parts come in this box. But what you can do with it, it's a very basic synthesizer. You just turn it on, and there's this uh, stylus here and a ceramic strip. And based on the settings you configure here, it's a bunch of different settings. This is one uh, low frequency oscillator. You can generate sound effects. So it's like a you know a 70s song or something out of a video game. Um, there are two different. If you think of a, an audio wave, a waveform kind of goes up and down. Uh, you can actually change the shape of the wave. So they have two shapes. One is this saw or triangle wave that just goes straight up and down. And what I like more is this square uh, stepper wave, and that actually creates a sound effect like. Let's hear that again. That's really cool. And that, uh, that pitch up and down at the beginning, uh, that's called the envelope. And you can actually adjust the attack and decay of that initial envelope before it sustains its pitch at the end. And of course, you can change the rate. So if I want a slower rate, let's go even slower. There are also two 1 8 inch jacks here for output if you want to plug this into headphones or your computer and record uh, these sound effects or an external source which takes in a mono source. So uh, it's actually meant for a theremin that Gakken also sells. Uh, but you can, if you hack it, you look online, there are a ton of different hacks on YouTube. You can find a way to plug in like an MP3 player and modify uh, sound effects and songs on your own. Um, if you want to learn more about synthesizers, I also recommend this book that I picked up. It's a little technical. It's from Make, Make Media. Uh, it's called just Analog Synthesizers. It's written by Ray Wilson, who actually runs this wonderful website uh, called Music from Outer Space. It explains all the technical details of DIY synthesizers, the details which you can find in this book. Pretty dense, but a really nice companion gift if you buy uh, the DIY kit and then you want to teach someone or have them, encourage them to learn more about building their own synthesizer from scratch. Uh, the kit here is uh, in Japan. If you buy in Japan, it's like 30 bucks, but imported here, you can find it online on eBay or even at the Makeshed store for about 50 bucks. Uh, highly recommend it, really fun to tool around with, and you can just cool, like, recreate some really, really fun sound effects um, and maybe even annoy your, your coworkers at the office. So that's today's show and tell. It's the Gakken SX150 DIY analog synthesizer. I love it so much. I'm Norm from Tested. We'll have more awesome things to show on the site, on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time.